after the initial arch scene or whatever, you kind of forget that right. it has anything to do with Modesto because they don't really bring it back into light anymore <laughs> during the show. He has played on every stereotypical stigma-based uh, assumption that I, I saw littered throughout there, and, and a lot of it could or could not be true, uh, depending on the population and how you feel about that, but it sure did uh, play on all of that. Definitely pretty, but I think, and it's unfortunate that it was set in Modesto, but I think it could have been set in any city in the United States, because mm -hmm. I think it is more about uh, racial divisions and crime uh, that's happening in suburban cities more and more, not just big cities. Actually, we forget we're a, we're a good-sized city, we're or a large city. That's true. We still think we're a small city, and I say we, I mean, I, I know I'll be as an outsider <coughs> still, because I haven't been here for 30 years, but this is a big city, and we have big city problems and big city crime, and I think we forget that a lot. That's true. And yeah. So I'm not really shocked by the what I saw. Mm -hmm. like you said it could happen anywhere. Well, I think it's going to be sort of eye-opening for people because for there are a lot of people that it is not their experience to see really um, graphic depictions of yeah. drug use and and, um, right. and violence yeah. and and everything that kind of goes with that and I think I mean it felt like it was re it's not my experience personally but it, it certainly felt like it was real I think one of these things one of the reasons why I have to watch it I have to be able to uh, set forth the commentary is because it pulls us out of our comfort zone. We have to definitely do more. We have to ensure that we're using the resources that are here. There's some wonderful resources that are out here. Great community organizations. We have just just presented here. We we have some great collaborations that take place, right. and we we need to continue to work with those. I mean, the Family Justice Center, the Women's Haven, Peer Arts Recovery, the Clergy Peace. Um, Concilio, obviously, working with our city, working with our, our PD, but those are, that's the reality. We can't live in a bubble. I agree with you 100% that it pulls you out of that comfort zone that you're in that you, because we'd rather not talk about race. We'd rather not talk about that. I'm, and I have to admit that it made me almost <coughs> laugh and sad at the same time, and I'll, I had a lot of feelings around and I know this is not your particular, this is not your fault necessarily, but to see an African-American detective at Modesto Police Department, female, was, I wish that were true. <laughs> I mean, it makes two of us. Uh, yeah. You no, know, the one bright side, finally, is they're not glamorizing drug use. Mm -hmm. They're actually showing it just like it is. Yeah, that's yeah, true. It really and looks it's, like it's actually that nice that, that they're not good. glamorizing it for a change. I don't think this changes our internal dialogue as a community about what it means to be a community. And I think, and I've been saying this for a while, there's a very hopeful emerging narrative in Modesto. I think this is one more external depiction that by no means um, devalues what we're doing to build up our community. Well, as a pastor in this community, I'm really concerned about the nature of the drama uh, desensitizing us once we hear the various elements desensitizing us to protocol and civility. I think there's a lot of people who walk around blind in our community. Mm -hmm. And they have no idea. And, and this, is, no idea. this is Hollywood. This is a mm -hmm. traumatization of, of everything. There's stuff like that that happens every day in the city. Oh, absolutely. And, and I think but sometimes we're blind to that, and that's why we need yeah, a lot of the stuff absolutely. that you're talking about, and that uh, get the head out of the sand and, and actually say, hey, we it. need to build a community, we need to absolutely. come together as a community so we can address that stuff. Right. I'm going to go back to my home base and say that I think the folks about us are just, they're smarter than that. Yeah. They're going to see, you know, sure, but this, this isn't our city. This isn't, and they're not going to look past just being a dramatic show. I think they're going to be able to step past it and... You know, I'm again going to give them credit and say that they're smarter than that. Yeah.